my drama llamas. Today we're going to be talking about technical theater and hierarchy. This is an introduction into tech theater. Let's get started, shall we? What is technical theater? That is your first question. We're going to be talking about technical theater, so you kind of need to know what we're even talking about. Technical theater encompasses all that goes into making a stage production. The areas of technical theater are scenery, lighting, properties, costumes, makeup, sound, publicity, and housework. All of these areas work together in a production to establish the place, the time period, and the mood for the production. Here are the eight technical theater aspects that you can try out and find out which one you like the best. Design versus application. These are two different parts of technical theater. So as we look on the red square, design, you're going to, if you're going to be design, you're going to be more artistic, you're the big idea person, you work closely with your director and your technical director, you are the one creating the ideas for someone to then create the physical part of it for the production. You are also known usually as designers. Application. Application are people that are going to be applying are good with their hands. They're taking the ideas and bringing them to life. They're gonna work closely with the designers and the technical director and the stage manager. You are physically making the things in application and you're applying things someone else came up with. The tech, you're also known as technicians. This could be like board ops, dressers, the people actually physically applying the makeup onto the actors. You are pulling the curtains. You are the applier of what has been designed. Now we're gonna be talking about theater hierarchy and these technical jobs in theater. The first question you're going to ask, what is hierarchy? Think about it for a second. What is that word? And how do you maybe use it like in your family or in the hierarchy of like political hierarchy? Think about it. Hierarchy is basically a system or organization in which people or groups are ranked one above the other according to the status or authority. When I think of hierarchy for theater, I always say the person who is at the top of the hierarchy has the most authority, the most power. They're the one that can sway all the decisions. When you are lower in the hierarchy, it doesn't mean you're not important. It just means that you have less power. Why do you think hierarchy is important in theater? Let's consider this. The person at the top of the hierarchy is the producer. The producer decides and approves what play is being done, chooses the production team, and is responsible for the budget. I always think of the producer as the money person. In education, it's different than in, out in the private sector of theater. For education, your district or your school would be the producer. They're the people that are going to approve your plays and give you the money to do the plays. The next person is the director, has say on all elements of the creative concept. They communicate concept to all the parties involved in the production team. They cast the show, they give the actors blocking, they interpret the text, and it works to stay within budget that was given to them by the producer. Next, we have technical director. This person oversees all technical crews, stage managers, and designers. They answer to the producer and the director, and they make sure all technical aspects are finished on time and under budget. Stage manager. Stage manager or stage managers, depending on the production, communicates with the director and the technical director as well as crews and actors. The stage manager has a lot of power and is a big communicator. They oversee all technical crews during a performance. 
So they're going to oversee them during the show. Not necessarily before the show starts into tech rehearsal. They do this thing called calling the show or calls the show. We'll discuss that in a second. And is responsible for the smooth running of the show. Call is a very important term to learn. Call announces an announcement to performers or crew that they are in need for a rehearsal or performance. It is also a warning to performers and technicians to get ready for an entrance or something that needs to be done. Next, we're talking about the house manager. They're in charge of the box office and lobby and crew for both. They communicate with the stage manager before the show and during intermission. They oversee the box office manager. The box office manager is in charge of ticket sales. They handle all the pre-sold tickets and group sales as well as sales made the night of the show. Publicity manager is in charge of contacting newspaper, television, social media, and any other media to promote the show. Their goal is to get some people to see your show. They promote the show through print or media. Our next term is paper tech. Paper tech is an informal session scheduled with the set, light, and sound designers to discuss specific cues and desired effects. The stage manager should be present at these sessions. All right, now we're gonna be talking about the designers. Designers, all designers must communicate with other designers to ensure a unified concept is maintained. They are under the director, stage manager, and the technical director. When we say unified concept, that means that the lights and the costumes and the props, they're all trying to establish the time period, location, and feeling of the play. You don't want to have 1970s costumes with a set that's like 2010. We're going to go specifically into different designers. This is real short and simplified. The audio and sound designer creates an atmosphere through sound. Costume designer designs the costumes for production and creates world of play through clothing. Lighting designer designs the lighting looks for the production. Makeup and hair designer designs the makeup and hair looks for production. Scenic designer or set designer designs the set for the production. Props designers in charge of properties designs. Now we're getting towards the bottom of the hierarchy with the crew and technicians. These are the people who build all the technical elements before a show opens. These are also the people who help the technical elements during the run of the show. Crew and technicians are the people that apply the designs as we talk to versus design versus application in the beginning of the video. This is a basic hierarchy chart. I'm gonna show, we're gonna fill it in. So at the top, we have our producers. Under them, the director. Kind of at the same level, but not exactly. We have our technical director. We've got our stage manager. We have our house managers, office, box office manager, and our publicity manager. They're also not only gonna report to the stage manager during shows, they also report to the director. Then we have all of our designers. And then at the very bottom is our technical crew and our actors. Remember, just because they're at the bottom doesn't mean they're not important. We need all these people's, people to create a successful performance. Well, Drama Llamas, that's it for today. This has been an introduction to technical theater and hierarchy. I'll see you next time, Llamas. Bye.